What's next? Um, so, can you halflings talk to animals? I think you might have got to it. I, it's, it's a talent to look as unedible as you can. But um, now that we've found the thing, uh, what was the plan again? To not stay in one group, which is what we are doing right now. Okay, so um, I will just back away slowly Don't towards trip some over, trees. Don't trip over a rock. You're trying to curse me, aren't you, Verve? <laughs> what are we looking at? Is it the stag? Might be a big blood-covered deer, but it's a deer nonetheless. It is I mean, I don't know its gender from here. They have different names, right? For different genders? Yes, it is a stag. It does have a pretty oh, okay. serious rack of horns. <laughs> I'm a city lad, remember? Not good at sneaking. Um, I will slowly move off to away from everyone else. Um, and I will put up like a hand towards it. What, like how to train your dragon? <laughs> no, like kind of what I did with the horse. This is not this is not my area of expertise, but it worked once. Um it uh I guess roll charm animal. <laughs> no. <laughs> I could I basically flip it off. All right, as you hold up your hand and start approaching, the stag tenses a lot. And when you take a step towards it, it turns and bolts into the forest. If you're going to oh, pursue it, you've got to go now. Yeah, I go now. I chase after Damn it all. I go. I run after all of them. All right. This is a scary woods. <laughs> Pursuit time. The good news is y'all did get it kind of close. All right, so you, uh, as it bolts into the tree line, uh, the four of you are able to run across the clearing, and there's no obstacles in your way, so you do gain on it in that brief moment. So I will mark how far away you are from it. And then the chase begins. Rest is a sprinter. Yes. Yeah, which is good. Otherwise, he's going to get left behind. All right, so as you I enter the forest... The sequence. Uh, as you enter the forest, everyone, including the stag, will roll a athletics check as you try to run as fast as you can while also avoiding tripping over roots and just eating or running into a branch or sliding out across a bunch of dead leaves. Hopefully the stag just breaks its legs and we have an easy time. I think it used up all its really bad rolls when I was helmet banging. Probably. It was not very perceptive for a good bit there. So it has no success Alright, so level. athletics check you said from everyone? Yes, and I just need to know your success level. Um, Unless you roll a 96. Is it time for the last fortune point of the day? Before combat, yeah. Good point, never mind. Uh, so minus three on, for every step. Okay. Uh, and I, I, I really, uh, I really only care about... Actually, no, that's not true. Positives, or... Oh, okay. Verve. Bird stat. Uh, cold. Wrist. You know what? you get the plus ten for being... Rope. Movement five, right? For one above four. Uh, that'll that'll go into account in a second. But this thing is very fast, oh. so we're all gonna have a hard time no. keeping up with it. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see. Um, so we've got Verve got a plus two, which and then your movement five. It's a difference of 
So it got a zero. So cold would have gained two, but it's got four, no, three movement higher than him. So it's going to go up to a four as far as he's concerned. Oh, so attack, I spend a resolve to get rid of that fatigued condition. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. Oh, yeah. So I would be minus four. Okay. Okay. So. Vert stat is at minus four. So actually minus six. And then what did everyone else get for minuses? I'm at minus, minus five. Minus four. Minus five, minus an additional two is seven for wrist. And then Roland was minus four, minus an additional two is six. All right, the creature elegantly strides through the forest and uh, you are actually having a fairly difficult but uh, potential time trying to keep up with it, Verv. And the creature is getting away from you a little bit just because of the absurd strides this thing is taking. And it's in its home environment. But you are actually keeping vaguely up with it. For the rest of you, this creature has been is already putting a ton of distance. It is eating up yards like nobody's business. And the rest of you are struggling not to accident you are basically none of you outright fall over or trip but you are very much struggling to keep your footing and are having to constantly write your stance or look up to see which way it twisted to and all that stuff um verb you did win by the highest number of success levels so you have the ability to um uh some of the characters Oh, wait, never mind. It's going to do something. So, as you're pursuing the the um, stag, you notice that it seems aware of your presence behind it. And it slams um, its bulk into a particularly large branch as you're passing. And the branch snaps and falls directly behind it. So, roll again for athletics. Or you can try acrobatics if you want. Is that a thing still? I think it's just athletics now. But uh, roll another athletics check, everybody. But um, everyone except the stag gets minus 10 due to the obstacle it's thrown in your way. Ooh, bad roll. Not soul-crushing roll. I eat shit. Ooh, nice knowing you, Roland. <laughs> Alright, is that everybody's rolls? Alright, so first thing that happens is... Roland, as you are struggling to keep up with everyone, you get to this knockdown branch and you leap over it. But unfortunately, in that moment, you don't quite take into account your height. And due to your leap oh, over this no. branch, in addition to being 6'5", you slam your head into an outreaching branch, which causes your body to full-on flip back to the ground. You land hard on your back. Um, you take a stunned condition, take a single wound... And you are no longer able to pursue as you lose sight of the quarry. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna be here a minute. Uh, and then... See, it did, rolled terribly this round. So so it's got a 9. Um, Verve got a minus 1. So it's gonna be a difference of 8. And then it's 3 faster. So that's gonna make a difference of... Ooh... A 5. Interesting. Interesting. Wait, no. Difference of... Oh, yeah, that's still going to get down to zero. Oh, Verve's going to catch it. She was at a difference of... If only I could cast while running. Uh, okay, uh, okay, so... Can you not? Verve, uh, no, you can. It's just difficult. Um, Vert stack got a minus three, which, uh, Vert stack, you barely still have sight of it in the elf, but you're still in the running. Okay. And then wrist, minus four, uh, difference of. Uh, oh wait, no, I'm I'm dumb. It's not a difference of nine. It's a difference of 
five. Because it has an athletics of 40. So that's going to be a difference of four minus three is one. Oh, okay. So he's going to gain on it, but still ahead. Okay. Uh, wrist. Just double checking. Some mental math. Wrist, you lose sight of it. All right. Can I fortune point my athletics then? If you want to. Yep. But this. I will say this will not be your strong suit, <laughs> and there are other things to do. Okay. I thought it was just I sit around for nothing. No. Um, so you do manage to clear a uh, dive under the branch and continue running, but your lungs are starting to burn up on you pretty bad, and you lose sight of the stag and the elf. But you do uh, hear, rather than see Roland, just, just get a demolish behind you. Uh, Verb, you actually gain on it uh, a pretty good measure. And because uh, you won the overall number of success levels, you may do something to try and hamper its um, flea. Okay. Marsh lights. Interesting choice, but okay. Deer in the headlights. I don't know if that's going to work on him. But I, uh, points for ingenuity. Go ahead and try. Uh, you will take a minus 20 to your casting because you are literally running as hard as you can and trying to dodge obstacles. Yeah, no. All right. You do summon the winds of magic to you, but unfortunately you're not quite able to get the spell off. All right, everybody roll again. There's no penalties for you guys this time, though. I don't do it. I don't do anything this time. That is correct. Roll I'm just, on the roll floor. Roll and wrist do not roll. But we'll okay. check so, in with you guys in a moment. Did you say no minuses? No minuses. So it fails by two. It should actually be uh, plus six. Stupid fatigue. Well, you rolled a 25. It's going to be seven. So, uh, no, eight minus, it's going to be six, six. All right. Uh, Vertstat, you are doing a damn great job for a human. I mean, you are really, really doing a good job for a human, uh, trying to keep up with this elf and this creature that are both innate woodland creatures who also have a start on you and who also have much greater strides than you. But unfortunately, you're just not quite able to keep up with them. And uh, you lose sight of them as they round a bend. But you can still hear them uh, running off ahead. And if you look far enough behind you, you can actually spot the other two. Ver, Ver. you are keeping up with this thing somehow. Um, despite its massive strides, you uh, are pounding away after it. Just gritting your teeth, ignoring the pain, ignoring the burning in your legs, in your lungs, and you are keeping pace. You may attempt to cast another spell. All right. Hell, I'll even let you channel this time. <laughs> But both are at a minus 20, whichever, whatever you try. I am not going to try and channel on a minus 20. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, you throw out your hands and a series of lights flash to life before the stag. And it does let out a very distressed noise and immediately pivots trying to avoid them heading in a different direction. So you will gain a, or it will take a notable penalty to its fleet, to its um, fleeing now. I will, sh can I at the same time shout out to the others to maybe, so they can still hear what direction I am? Yes, you can shout, you can shout. and make noise and they will have a vague idea in which direction you're in. All right, like a game of telephone, I will shout when I hear Verve shout. That's fair. Uh, Roland, your stun condition. Uh, roll a... I'm already shouting. Roll a... Roll an endurance check, Roland. Oof. Even with, <laughs> a, even with an easy bonus, that's not enough. You're still stunned. 
But halfling, you do hear the shouting, and you feel very confident. You pick out, you can pick out what direction it's from. All right, Verve, roll me a. Uh... Oh gosh, pursuit. Athletics. There we go. Okay, so you got a zero, which with your movement would put you at a one. All right, Verve, you keep running after this creature and suddenly... Oh, wait, I forgot the penalty for the martial lights. One second. Uh, despite the lights, if anything, they almost seem to kick up the creature's adrenaline to a very high new level, and it just bolts off ahead of you. But you you see that it smashes its way um, into a clearing, and ahead you see a rocky outcrop rising above. And you have noticed... Uh, actually, roll a quick perception for me with a minus 20. Uh, okay, you don't notice then. Uh, but you do see it approaching a rocky outcrop, and the pr the creature seems to stop um, for just a moment, and it looks back at you, and there's almost some kind of... Mm, there's almost... You can almost see there's like... It seems to almost be thinking in an eerie way um, as you approach. But as it stands on the clearing, it stamps its hooves and lets out kind of a odd call and then starts charging off um uh to the east in a completely different direction like it runs perpendicular to where it used to be running um and actually makes very noticeable headway like it is it is taking advantage of the open space to just clear an absurd amount of distance between you and it But as you run up towards the rock outcropping, uh, ooh, you get you get a immense chill down your spine, like stone cold, as you approach this rock. Does did the creature continue along? like towards this rock no, or it, like it's, past this rock it led you towards the rock in this most recent part of the chase and then stopped once it got close enough a, a certain distance from it and is now taking off in a completely new direction sure. it is unclear as to what it's hoping to achieve by having done that or if it was just running and ran into something it doesn't want to be around and ran somewhere else do you want to stop or do you want to continue chasing it um you well, should know that your companions I... are falling pretty far behind yeah i'm gonna stop all right because there's even if i catch it what am i gonna do lightning bolt it to death by <laughs> myself all right you stop and the creature vanishes back into the woods from whence it came however you do feel like you are under a notable amount of pressure um i will call out um and i will wait here um kind of take trying to take in deep breaths all right um uh, massage my legs roland roll me one more endurance check at easy so you get plus 40 all right you are recovered yay <laughs> Oh, you're right there, Roland. You took a big hit there to the head, it looks like. Be heading off, though. Yeah. I'm now. All right. The two of you are able to catch up with Vertstat, and Vertstat, with uh, a little bit of finagling, you are able to eventually catch up to Verve. 
And as mm, you also have it. Yep. Vertstat, as you approach this rock that Verve is standing beneath, and uh, by this point, it's starting to get kind of dark. Um, like darkness is coming on, night is coming on, and there's like clouds in the sky, and all of you hear almost a vague rumbling in the distance, like a potential storm, but because uh, a lot of dark clouds are moving in. But when you approach that rock and get to almost where Verve is waiting for you, you also get a very cons uh, you get a very chilled feeling through your nerves. Okay. In the time it took him to get here, have I been able to look at this rock any closer? Uh, if you want to. Yes, I do. But it will be more... The closer you get to it, I will note you're going to have to start rolling stuff for me. Okay. Like, you do not have a good feeling about this place. Like, what kind of stuff am I... Mm, I I'll, I'll, okay, I'll give you the feeling you're feeling specifically, and then you tell me. Deal? If... Sure. When you head towards this rock, every step you take... Um, at least for the moment, you feel like there's something crawling across your very skin. Nope, no, no, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what I figured. But is it the same feeling I got by from that um, cave from the painting? From staring into the eyes or touching no. that... But thing. this feeling is familiar to you. You may just not realize it. Alright, the three of you catch up to Verve. And only the two who I described it to have noticed anything peculiar about this rock. To the rest of you, it just looks like a big dark rock. So, uh, as we approach, um, close enough to talk to Verve now? Yes. Okay. Uh, as we and Verve, you said you shouted for them, right? Yeah. Okay. So as we approach, I will say to Verve, um, "What a uh, what what kind of rock are we approaching?" I, I gotta tell you, I don't have the best feeling about this. Got the same feeling I had back back in the forest, the although nothing really happened. Um. So where's the stag? I will point off the direction of the forest and say I probably could have kept on chasing it, but by then it would have just been me. And, well, you heard what happened to the last eight people that met it. I'm, I'm more surprised, surprised that this. they, you know, caught up with it. That's also true. If it's just running away from people, how is it? Getting all those red stains. I mean, I know I am particularly frightening, but... Um, I look at uh, you, Wrist, and you, uh, Roland, and say, I'm not going to take another step f further for an unspecified reason. Can one of you go look at, the, at this standing stone for me? And tell me if you see any markings, anything at all unusual about it. As is the stag behind it? Maybe. Chloe. On this is safe. I will go with whoever's approaching as well. No. I'm gonna go with someone. Okay. Uh, give me just a sec. Sorry, I gotta close the door because the dog just. Started to burst in. You're going to go forward, Verstappen, feeling this. Well, like I said, uh, back in the forest, I felt something similar, and nothing happened. In fact, what do you, the what stag do you mean, back ran in the away. Forest? Well, back in the forest, when we were approaching the stag, I had a similar feeling, but then nothing happened. So you think it's but a think reoccurring? Man, it's just you and me. Maybe it's just the forest. I don't know. One sec. So who's approaching? Roland and Wrist? Looks that way. Okay, uh, Verstat will uh, stay behind, I guess, if Roland's going to. Oh, 
But that was a good bit of run. Okay. Wouldn't you say? Almost, Almost had it. Off. Yeah, you know, I just lost sight of you there at the end. But you know what? For me, that was surprisingly good. All right, who all is approaching? Um, Roland and Wrist, I believe. All right, Roland and Wrist, uh, you walk up towards this large crag um, in the Haker Cribs, because you're basically to the full-on mountains themselves now. And, uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, you don't, you don't see anything particularly strange or concerning. I mean, you can look around a little bit if you'd like. Just tell me if you're looking for anything. I'm going to look for any of those bird markings if they show up. Uh, they don't. I should note the, the bird stone I talked about earlier was not markings. It was like a set of stones that if you looked at them from a certain distance, they look like a bird. Like oh. the overall composite. Um, is there anything that looks intently carved onto this rock? Nope. Are there giant spiders resting atop of it to jump down at me? You don't see any. What's over here then? Roland, you see a oh, no. entrance into a cavern. And you notice that on the ground in the entrance is a flame it looks like it might have been a campfire that's still smoldering as if recently put out i beckon over to the two people over there however oh, that will begin to approach what is it campfire looks like it's just put out Maybe, maybe just a couple hours ago. Uh, Verv and Birdstat, you do feel very on edge when you get close to this place. Okay. So I'll start walking slower the closer we get, but still continue walking. Okay. You make Are your we way seeing up. anything um, with our second sight at all? No, you don't see anything. Verve. Except a fire. Do you think from here, with a little climb on the rocks, you could get a good vented site for a campsite? If you're feeling bad about this place? I will look at Verdstadt. Um, I will look at the rocks. Are they climbable? Uh, vaguely? It, it would not be an easy climb. It'd be fairly dangerous. First, let's check out the opening of this cavern. Yeah, I'm going to try and sneak to a place that's a bit more revealing of the cave. Okay, you want to head deeper in? Yep. Okay. And I rolled well on stealth this time. All right. Uh, you sneak deeper into the cave, and it starts to get very dark very quick. By the time you are about here, it's pretty much pitch black inside. But it definitely goes deeper in. I'm going to look at and around this campfire here. Okay. Uh, roll a perception, please. I will aid him with that. Okay. So you get plus 10, Roland. All right, Roland. Uh, with your... Not necessarily acute, but decent sense of smell. You catch the odor of burning meat. But as you look at the fire and kind of kick around it, you don't see any food of any sort burning. But it's a very, to put it lightly, crappily put together fire. Like, you're kind of amazed anyone was able to... You know, you're not exactly a... You don't know much about outdoor survival. But this, it, it is a shoddy setup, whatever was here. Or whoever was here. And whoever it was must have left recently and in a hurry. Cooking meat smell. Looks like maybe somebody left recently in a hurry. Maybe they went further in. 